Well, a national police shortage is causing small town police departments across the U.S. to close, with nearly 40 disbanding their police forces since 2019. Meanwhile, Portland is feeling the impact, walking back their push to defund police, now recruiting officers with entry salaries of $80,000 plus a signing bonus. Our next guest is the chief from Independence, Missouri Police Department, and he's also feeling the effects of a staffing shortage. He joins us now. It's Chief Adam Dustman of Independence. Great to see you this morning, Chief. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Will. Great to be with you. So let's start with this. Tell me about Independence. How big is it? How big is your police department? So we have 327 total employees, 230 of them sworn uh, officers in a public, uh, population that is 123,000 and about 78 square miles. Okay. A little bigger. I've heard of independence, so I should have recognized it. it's probably bigger than it would be in my imagination. But tell me about this problem. We talk a lot about defund the police movements and how it affected big cities. But this, I guess, perhaps trickle-down effect of officers and departments in smaller, in your case, you know, not a metropolis, but a smaller urban area, 120,000, and even smaller communities. What's going on with the police departments? It's just a, a shortage of, of applicants. Uh, will we, you know, the same thing, it trickles down. You're exactly right. Um, about 15 years ago, we would have 450 applicants easily for uh, one or two spots with waiting lists uh, a mile long, oftentimes being exhausted over a year. Now we're lucky if we get uh, four applicants total, and we have currently 25 vacant spots, uh, commission spots, and vacancies throughout the police department. And and you're right, you know, for us, it's a lot harder to. Uh, to fill those spots than it is a bigger city, but the small departments, you know, two officers for them, maybe half of their police department. What's the effect? If you're running shortages like that, how does that, for, if I'm a citizen of independence, like how do I see that? Do I see police officers left off in quote unquote on the beat? Like how does that affect my life? So obviously you have a, a strain on services. We're fortunate enough that we can uh, we can you know move officers around to be able to to meet basic service needs. But you have traffic enforcement and other things that have a, a direct correlation to increases in crashes um, and, and just a, an overall lack of enforcement. Almost to your last segment, you know when things are um, you know video game esque and there's no mm -hmm. consequences, then you know we have the we have that problem too. So that's the effect overall. Um, on us, on our staff, uh, it's fatigue, you know, over overworking. You, you don't get to really have any of that downtime. Our officers are answering anywhere between 15 and 20 calls a day. And when you talk about the defund the police movement, there is no doubt that it has a massive effect. When you see and, and hear that the police are the enemy, who in the world is going to sign up and say, yes, please, uh, you know, I want to go do that job. Right. Really quickly, just out of my own personal curiosity here, Chief, you know, I don't know. I've, I've really come to be someone who believes in this idea of community. And not every place can be Mayberry, right? But, and, and independence is, is bigger than, again, perhaps the question I'm presenting you. But when you have a department like this, how many are local guys? How many are local independence community members who decide to be cops versus we got to attract them from across the nation? Several. So um, obviously, you know, we attract and, and recruit here out of our own community. And we have uh, several that are very proud independence uh, natives. But for me, uh, I'm a native of Kansas City, so adjacent to independence, the bigger city. But I came here because of this family feel. Mm -hmm. um, and and so it it is a huge draw. You know, we and I'm telling you, you know, they this profession is more noble now and uh, than it ever has been before. Service above self, uh, that sense of duty, and and we will get there. I really do believe that. But the, the work that these men and women do on a daily basis is phenomenal. Yeah, we appreciate you, Chief. Appreciate these small towns. Appreciate that sense of community. And uh, appreciate what you bring to that community. Thank you so much. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.